in this episode of Ride with the Swedes. From Trollhatt in Sweden, again 20 years old, and imagine three days before <laughs> you get the call. Be careful what you wish for. I think this could be the start of something special here for this young free rider. Jag har sett en enda skorpion, orm. Jag har sett lite... Ödlor. Ödlor. Lizard, thank you. Jag är trying to figure out a path way down the hill. That's a lot of stuff that's already occupied, so you're trying to snake in between stuff and trying to find a unique line that's, that I want to ride and represent. You're done digging around 7.30 and you go home, you eat, you go to sleep and then you wake up seven o'clock the next day, so it's been pretty rough. Uh, but I got a good dig team that carries me that makes a lot of magic happen. Emil is, uh, is really positive and uh, it kind of translate to, translates to me and Caleb. Um, he just really wants to make it down the mountain this year. You know, it's his first year here and he's, uh, he's kind of gone above and beyond in terms of uh, work ethic and stuff like that. I was really blown away. And then if I could like carve a bit in whatever, Oh, dude, that's some skis and nose bonk the rocks. Yeah. Holy shit. It's tooth hanging, man. That would be gnarly, because it would be like... Ha! Yeah, it's a day yesterday, so it was nice. It's a little bit on the afternoon. Yeah, dude, like my first line, I, I heard about King Kong for so long, I was like, okay, I guess I'm just following you guys then. Well, laugh at you, can you laugh that? It, it's good practice for here. Yeah, for sure. I rode some of the old sites. So, yeah, like I said, man, just get some time out here and you'll be fine, dude. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. Yo! He just doesn't give a fuck! No fuck. Hell yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah. That was fun. Okay, are we training? Yeah. <laughs> no other option, I guess. Oh my god, that was not really... That was a straight tom three. <laughs> a tom three, yeah. yeah. Satisfied with it, dude. Like, getting there comfy and working on my skills that are on that other bike that I'm just trying to move over for a bit. And it's fun, but scary. berättade för folk att jag skulle hit så såg jag bara skräcken i folks ögon på många liksom och så bara är du helt säker liksom jag kände att en sån här chans kan man liksom inte riktigt släppa liksom första gången jag är i Juta och så första gången jag gräver i så här många dagar hela mitt liv så det det är en sjuk upplevelse och det är framförallt upplevelser som har varit det stora med det liksom att jag har inte kört någonting ännu så jag behöver börja Prova lite grejer och se hur det känns och om någonting behöver ändras. Och tid till att ändra det. Sen framförallt bara bli van med banan i sig. Liksom. Veta vart jag ska. We've all been rookies at this event before and it's pretty overwhelming your first year. Even your first like two or three years it can be pretty overwhelming until you kind of get the experience and learn kind of the ins and out of the event and how to build and you know. Ganska ovanligt och så här. Sista dagen så jag bara, fan jag vet inte, jag orkar gå till toppen, det är så tidskrävande. Kör den bara här nere och så bara, shit jag har inte gjort någonting där uppe, men det är ju gå upp och köra lite.
we're running kind of short on time, so just trying to be as efficient as possible and uh, then work our way down the hill and trying to fix everything. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I'm good. Fuck, that's a yank and a half. It's like not even a bike length at the bottom. So when I land a drop, my suspension is all blown out already. Yeah. Don't hit the lift, I just get bucked. Try everything else and we'll, uh, we'll change that jump today. Yeah. Oh, dude, there's no spunk. I felt that. <laughs> yes, dude. Feel it. Oh, buddy. That felt good. Oh, dude, that was so sick. <laughs> yeah, the boys are killing it. This is two diggers from two different teams down there. Uh, we teamed up on this feature since it's a huge build that wouldn't be possible without teaming up if you, I guess it would be possible if you were like one team and only hitting the drop, but you want to do more than just hitting one drop. Huh? Pretty much done, needs a rake. That's about it. Like just creep down that and then let off and just roll. Yeah, Reese. Yes! Okay, I'm up. You think it's 50 feet? Yeah, I think it's about 50. Like, feet. really? Yeah. No, I think Tippy measured it, and 50. I think it was 55. Or 55 on the old lip, so I would say 54 then. But dude, that is like 16, 17 meters. Holy shit. I said, you know, I'm going to feel the hot for the morning. I'm going to put the battery. Alltså, jag har inte ens kört hela banan än. Det är lite så här... Nojel, nojel, nojel kan man inte säga. Du känner dig så dapper, men så tired. Ja, jag är tired. Jag är tired av digging. Jag är redo att dricka lite bier. Jag har jobbat. Det är upp till dig nu. Welcome to the uh, 14th edition of Rebel Rampage. These guys can hear me up there. Good luck to all the riders out there and happy rampage, everyone. Happy rampage. Merry rampage. Happy rampage. Happy rampage. That is cool.
From Trollhatt in Sweden, again 20 years old, and imagine three days before <laughs> you get the call. Well, Emil showed up at proving grounds and rode well enough to where he was in the top five, and people were dropping out of the invite list due to injuries. That's how Emil found himself here. I think this could be the start of something special here for this young free rider. Ready, Emil? Yeah, buddy. All good to go? Rider number four. Go for a roll in. Johansson. Three, oh, yeah. Two, First timer making the drop. Emil Johansson. Emil slowing down into the start drop. He's got the fast plant 360, the same trick we saw Cam Zink use to start his run. So things off to a great start here. A no foot can for Emil. Rhythm section here. No foot can into that inverted table. Now he's got a nose bomb feature on this rock. You have to be so precise for this to work. Let's check this out. See that rock there? He's planning to only touch that rock with his front wheel. Look at that. And now he has to really get on the brakes to slow down so steep. So definitely demonstrating some of his tricks already, demonstrating control in the steeps. He's showing a unique approach to carving out a line on this slope. A toboggan on that step across. He's not letting any opportunities go to waste here. This is that big vertical drop that I was talking about. And he's going from the higher up option oh. to the suicide no-hander. Oh. So much style on that hip. Now what does Emil have on this trick jump? A back oh. Oh. yes! see been holding the extension. That was dirty! <laughs> Come on, man! Yes, the tuck no hander. Wow. What a performance from the young gun newbie in his rookie appearance here at the 2019 Red Bull Rampage. Emilio Hansen. I'd say he belongs. What do you guys think? That is a rookie run for the history books right there. <laughs> so much steam. So much style. Oh my god! Yes, dude! Yes! Yes! Oh, yes. Yes, yes, dude! Yes, dude. You oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I went so far yeah, away. Yes, dude, he's the drug! <laughs> Being here in the desert for the week, when he has a run and it comes together, it comes together for everyone. Now, a guy who has won Joyride knows what it's like to be put on the spot, have the start gate. Operator say three, two, one, go. But at Rampage, it's so much different. Look at the score. 79, so Emil Johansson in second place for the moment. Jag är jag gjorde det. Jag fick gjort det då, det var det jag kom hit för att göra. Så gräva min egna bana, lära mig allting kring det, vad jag behöver, både på cykel och utanför cyklingen när det kommer till grävning och sånt där. Och så tar det från det till framtiden. What's it again? Emil. Emil. Pretty good chill day after Rampage. Gonna go up in the heli and see Rampage from bird's eye view. Gonna be insane. Not too bad. It's not a bad day. crazy to see the rampage site from above is like a completely different perspective than anything really like especially being out there for eight days and then be able to fly above it it gives you so much perspective that was so that was so cool man that was awesome